So for all of the very vulnerable poems I've shared with you guys, this is the scariest vulnerable thing. So um, it's called Gunk. Okay. He tells me he's not in the mood for sex tonight. A reasonable reply, but my reasoning leaves my body. I am dunked into military grade gunk. Gunk named, what good are you if he doesn't even want to fuck you? Named, you remind him of his ex. Named, he loves sex, so how disgusting must you be? Named, you will die alone. And I walk away. I go take a shower. I scrub and scrub and scrub. But the gunk doesn't come off. It just seeps into me further. Though my skin looks polished and gunkless, it is in my organs. It has become bronchial, and I'm left coughing up as I shake out my wet hair. I'm okay, really, which is aerosol gunk named, why don't you love me? As I dress myself, I cough up, I'm just tired, which is the brand name of, this is the only thing I know how to give. And my eyes turn black, and they sign, I am worthless without this. But he's already avoiding my gaze until it reaches my heart, and the beats sound like, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. But when was the last time he laid his head on my chest? My blood is boiled sludge, and I do not know how to survive this tar without getting paved over. But I would let him walk all over me if it meant that I could be flayed and cleansed so that when I tell him that I love him, it isn't sticky. And I'm jealous of all the bodies those hands have touched, including his, because they're not mine. And I'm jealous of those hands. And it hurts in ways that this poem cannot express. And it is isolation. And I am the jailer. And I still do not know how to break myself out because this gunk is thick and my eyes are black and my heart doesn't beat right. Thank you.